Hello, Instagram friends. Okay, so I actually haven't gone live on Instagram in forever. <laughs> I don't know what all these buttons do. But I'm going to go ahead and maybe pin my link here. We'll see if that's a thing. Nope. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see what this button does. Share a photo or video with your viewers. Tapping a photo will show right away. Hmm, weird. Uh, cool. Huh. Neato. Sorry, pressing buttons. <laughs> See what all these cool little features do. There's so many different options. All right, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have um, not seen me live. Maybe you do follow me on Facebook. Make sure to comment below if you do. Um, I haven't, um, I have, oh, <laughs> I was like, turn myself into a cat. Weird. All right, so um, I haven't gone live on Instagram in what seems like forever and ever, but I usually go live over on Facebook where I do my makeup tutorials, but I thought I would try it here just for a change up. So if you don't follow me on Facebook, Make sure you do. I have the link pinned in my bio of my Instagram, or you can just search me Raya Hope over on Facebook too. I also upload all of my tutorials to YouTube. So if you don't have a Facebook and you don't see me here on Instagram, um, you can always check out the tutorials on the replay on my YouTube channel, which again, you just follow me Raya Hope and then you subscribe on YouTube. Um, but yay, hi guys. So make sure you follow me on Facebook if you don't already and we'll go ahead and get started so like i said i'm normally not here on instagram so let me know if, how you guys feel about seeing me live here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go first in with my stick foundation so on my skin again if you don't watch me on facebook i talk a lot about how to put on makeup we talk about like the best options for different skin types for different makeup struggles i try to in each tutorial teach you guys something new um so on my um, how you pinned on your top? Uh, what do you mean? I don't think I could pin my link on here, but I wrote it out in the description right here. It says makeup tutorial shop products here, and that's my website, which you can shop all of the stuff that I'm using, all of the makeup, the tools, um, the skincare, all on my website, which is rayahopebeauty.com. Okay, so pre makeup routine, super duper important for making your makeup last all day long, look super flawless, just overall be incredible. So what I do is in the morning, you wash your face. I use my rose water as my moisturizer. So I spritz my rose water all over my skin. That's gonna act as like my hydrator, also as a toner, also helps to heal dark circles. And then I'll go in with my eye cream. So I put my eye cream underneath my eyes and then also on my eyelid. And that is going to heal fine lines, heal dark circles and also it has an instant like deep puffing property to it. it has caffeine infused in it so it's going to give you like a little mini eye lift like right away so after i use my eye cream i go in with this this is called the touch behold setting spray so i spray my face all over with this and i let it sit and settle and dry obviously and this is going to set my skin and then i go in with my mattifying face primer so i go in with this about a dime size amount and I put it all over my skin and I really kind of like press it in all over and I let it saturate into my skin for like three to five minutes. I feel like that's the kicker when you're using primer is to let it settle. And the reason that you do that is because you want to allow time for it to absorb into your skin. So as opposed to like putting it on and then going right in with your foundation, you're essentially just like wasting primer because it's just going to mix together and it's not going to do what it's meant to do, which is set your skin fill in the fine lines, creases, pores. So when you go in with your foundation, it has a nice even surface to sit on top of. I always do the really funny analogy of when you are painting a wall, like the first thing you do when you paint that wall is you prime it, right? And the reason you prime it is so the paint not only looks darker and more even, but it also prevents you from having to do multiple layers, right? Same exact thing with primer for your skin. So make sure you're doing the primer and now it's time for foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and go in first with my stick foundation. This is one of my favorite coverages because it's fast. It's easy. It takes hardly any skill. 
and you can really build it up. So if you wanted full coverage, you can add multiple layers like I normally do. If you wanted something more of a lighter coverage, you can achieve that too. But I also really love that it's a hydrating coverage. It's more of like a cream foundation. So if you guys love cream foundations, you'll love this one. So again, that's called the Stick Foundation. I'm using it in the shade Lace. And now I'm gonna go in with the Blending Bud. I talk about these Blending Buds so much because they are a huge game changer on how flawless they make your makeup look. They are going to compress the makeup down in a place versus just kind of swirling it on top with a brush. And this is going to make your fine lines, wrinkles, and pores much less noticeable than if you're using like a brush to blend this in. So picking up these blending buds is going to be very, very important. And again, everything I'm using is on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. Now, I typically tell you guys to comment color match in the comments, but I'm not sure if the live will save after I'm done. So make sure to DM me. I don't know if you guys can see the same like picture I'm seeing on the screen, but you should see a little paper airplane down here. If you click that, I believe that's the option to be able to message me here on Instagram. So make sure to take advantage of doing that. If you guys need any help picking out your makeup or your skincare or anything like that, there's also an option to be able to message me on my website. If you go to rayahopebeauty.com and scroll to the very bottom of my website, there's an option to send me a message there too. Or you can message me on Facebook. Honestly, I check all of my different inboxes, so please feel free to reach out. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in first with this. Again, to build up that coverage. And like I said, it's completely buildable. So whether you wanted a full coverage look or something more on the lighter side, you can achieve both of those with the stick foundation. Again, I'm using it in the shade Lace. And now I'm just going to, again, blend in with my damp blending bud. The blending bud is going to be damp. Always use it damp. The dry will kind of, I don't know, it just won't blend it as well. Another, pro another reason that you want to use it damp is because it's going to add moisture into the foundation, which helps it to lay better and lay more natural looking on your skin. All right, so now that we have that all blended out, which again, look how soft my skin looks. It doesn't look cakey, doesn't look powdery, doesn't look like I'm wearing two layers of foundation. It just simply looks even, took away that redness, hid some discolorations, really made that difference. Click the little thumbs up or little heart emoji if you guys see how great that coverage is. And again, just message me here on uh, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to message me if you guys need any help picking out your makeup. All right, so now for concealer, I'm going to go in with the shade Organza. I prefer to do the triangle. I know that there's like a huge TikTok rave about doing the concealer differently, which I actually did in my tutorial on Facebook yesterday. So if you want to see how to do concealer in another way to help to prevent creasing, make sure to watch the replay on my uh, tutorial yesterday on Facebook. I prefer to do it this way because I have more sunken in under eyes. So doing it this way is going to bring up that area. It's also going to act as a brightening effect to our under eyes and it's going to hide dark circles really well because dark circles are, hence the name, more of a circular motion. So when you're doing a triangle, you're disguising that circle and you're bringing down this whole area. So that is really going to help. It's also going to really help to elongate your under eye, which gives you that more youthful bright eyed bushy tailed appearance. I would not recommend to apply concealer with your finger. Our hands have natural oils in them, which can cause the makeup to crease, patch, fade. Oil and makeup don't typically like mesh very well. So I would not recommend to apply your concealer with your fingers ever. If you didn't want to use a blending bud, I would do a concealer brush instead. Okay, so now that we have our foundation concealer on, look at how much more like toned and brightened my under eyes look. I love this concealer. This concealer also has caffeine infused in it, so it's also going to give you like a little mini eye lift. It's a very similar coverage and texture to the um, Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics, if you've ever tried that, except this one has like a better coverage, meaning it's like more blendable, and I feel like it covers just as well but this one actually has caffeine in it, which is extremely great for your under eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna set my makeup so it doesn't move around. So I'm gonna go in with a flat beauty blender. I actually got this one from Walmart, and I'm gonna spray with my setting spray. 
to get it to mist onto this. So when you go in for the setting powder, it's going to help it to expand a lot better and just look overall natural. So I'm gonna use the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder and then this, I actually popped the cap off so I could use it in a technique that's called baking. So what baking is, it's essentially just putting on a lot of translucent setting powder. So it's going to absorb your natural oils. So for example, if your oils are pushing against your foundation, so when you put makeup on, you're essentially like covering your skin, right? So you're, your overall skin's gonna go like, whoa, what the heck is this? I don't like it, get it off. So it's gonna push off. And then that's when you start to see the oily, shiny, greasy, maybe even just make it fade all together look. So what the setting powder does is it's there to kind of be the catch-all. So as your face is pushing off this makeup, it's gonna be absorbed into the setting powder to prevent, to prevent it from looking oily, greasy, come off altogether. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away. I'm not sure if I can save these, um, but of course, if I can, I definitely will. But I do talk a lot about this whole tutorial and application over on my Facebook. So if you do want to catch a tutorial on the replay, make sure to follow me on Facebook. My name is Rhea Hope there. I have a business page you could just request or you just give it a thumbs up and you follow it. Kind of similar to Instagram. And you can watch any of these on the replay. Yay! Hi, Vicky. Um, it wants to the coffee, it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the pressed powder in the shade Taffeta, and I'm gonna use it on a big giant kabuki brush, and we're just going to apply this all over. So, similar to the setting powder, this is gonna set our makeup also, but the really cool part about this pressed powder is it has shea butter, vitamin E, and a UV protectant all infused in it. So, it's going to add this layer of beautiful, soft, flawless coverage to our skin, but it's also going to add that moisturizing finish to our foundation. So this not only, I talk a lot about like pressed powder because I'm so passionate about this particular one. I feel like I struggled finding a good pressed powder that didn't make me look cakey or like powdery. This one is so, so, so good. I do prefer to apply it with a big brush rather than like the little sponge it comes with just so it's going to be a little bit softer on your skin. I'll make sure to link this brush in my Instagram story today. So make sure to watch my Instagram stories. If you don't know how to do that, you basically just click on my profile picture and the stories will begin to play. So make sure to check out the Instagram stories. I'll link it for you guys today. Okay, so now for contouring. I'm going to go in with the Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa on top of the Tapered Blusher Brush. This brush is going to be very important because it's going to give you like the perfect contour every time. So we're going to start at the top of the ear and work toward the corner of the mouth. And we're going to go into a vertical shape like this. You want to stop like two finger lengths away from your mouth, two finger lengths away from your jawline. So it sticks right in this teeny tiny little area. You can also make a fishy face and that's kind of where you find that hollow too. You can kind of feel around where your cheekbone is and right underneath the cheekbone, that's where you can uh, place it as well. So those are the ways to find it. And I'm gonna go ahead and swirl over that area. And then on this side, um, I don't know if I like it more, but I'm just like a creature of habit. So I don't know, I think I'm just used to it. All right, and then around the jawline, bottom of the jaw, and again, you stop like where that contour is. And then kind of a little trick too, is if you're wearing a strapless or like a cami, you can go right underneath your uh, collarbones and it makes it give you that little contoured illusion. Mm -hmm. All right, and then forehead. This is my favorite part about contouring, literally shrinking our forehead in seconds and it's giving us this really beautiful warmth. Look at that. It just makes the center of your face pop forward so much better than if you weren't contouring. It just overall makes your makeup look pop. It makes it just look so, so good. And that's okay, Lisa. If you have higher cheek con or higher cheeks, just contour up higher. And honestly, you'll like the way it looks. It doesn't matter where your cheek structure is. You're going to contour right underneath that. All right. And then um, on the sides of the nose... Bottom of the nose, underneath the lower lip, anywhere where you put a contour is going to recede. It's going to fall back. Wherever you put something highlighted is going to um, pop forward or kind of draw the attention of the eyes. 
Okay, so now, um, for I have a big forehead and my contour never looks right. Tapered blusher brush, beach firm bronzer. Try those two products together and start in a swirling motion um, and like bring it together. Just avoid like the center of your forehead and try to like circular motions. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my uh, blush. This blush, you guys, is so pretty. Wait till you see it. Do you guys remember that blush color Orgasm by NARS? It's very similar to this one, except this has more of like a highlighty glow to it. It's so pretty. I'm using it on the setting powder brush. So I'm going to go in with the shade Sisterly and Smile. And then you're going to just tap this on the highest parts of your cheekbone right above your contour. And look at this result. And that's so pretty versus no blush, no contour. Or not contour, blush and highlight. And that's so gorgeous this is my favorite color ever it's so pretty if you're balling on a budget and you can't you don't want to like have more than like one product on your cheekbones this is going to be the one you want so again it's the blush in the shade sisterly it's so stunning on all skin tones so gorgeous all right so now for highlight i'm going to do the touch them luminizer which is like our fancy word for highlight, on the bridge and tip of my nose and then highest parts of my cheekbone. So essentially it's gonna go highlight, blush, bronzer. Just like so, on this side you're gonna get that really pretty dewy finished look. You can also do your Cupid's bow, just like that to accentuate your upper lip. And now we're done with our face. Ta-da! So pretty. All right, so now for eyebrows, I'm gonna do the brow pencil. It's not really a shimmer, it's more of like a iridescent. It's not like a glitter or anything like that. It's like a highlight. It's really, really pretty. And again, everything I'm using is on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. Everything has a love it guarantee. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you can always return it. There's no like subscription or anything like that. You shop as you want. You get what you want. Just like shopping at Target. You buy what you want. Or if you're like me, you just go to Target and let Target tell you what you should get <laughs> my bracelets are from lavender blue um she's here on instagram and my code with her is raya 20 and then my sparkle band is from sparkle bands or i'm sorry my apple watch bands from sparkle bands and my code with her is raya 10 which i have both of those linked on my bio on my instagram all right so now for brows like i said we're using the brow pencil in the shade medium this is hands down my favorite brow product. It's so dang easy to use. It has a retractable tip so you never have to worry about sharpening it. It is the perfect amount of pigmentation, meaning you don't have to like sit here all day long drawing it on, but at the same time you don't have to like put it on and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to blend all of this out. It's so dang easy to use. I used to be so afraid of doing my eyebrows, them looking like caterpillars or just looking overall like too dark or too boxy. This pencil, you guys, game changer. So if you're new at doing your eyebrows or you're a professional and you are a sucker for a good brow pencil, you got to try this one. All right. Ba -ba boom. All done. And then you can always take the spoolie side and kind of comb through just like that. Easy peasy. All right. And then eyeliner in the shade perfect. And this guy is my favorite eyeliner because one, it's creamy, goes straight on and actually stays put. It doesn't build up in your tear duct. It doesn't give you raccoon eyes throughout the day. And it's like $15. So good. All right. And then top. So nice. It's really good for sensitive eyes too. All right, and then like I said, if you need any help picking out your makeup, just message me here on Instagram or on Facebook and I will be so happy to help get you all set up. All right, and now for eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Astute in the pressed eyeshadow. Thanks, babe, love you. And gonna apply this on the crease and the lid. I'm going to use, again, the fluffy crease brush is gonna be really, really important for this. It's going to be the easiest method to apply and like I said I'm going to apply this all over. Something else I really do love about our eyeshadows, the pressed ones actually have primer infused in them so if you struggle with getting your um, your eyeshadows to stick or to stay this is really really the best option. 
I'm telling you, this makeup brand makes it easy. A little background on me, I have zero, I did not go to school for this. I was a huge tomboy growing up. I had no idea how to do makeup. I actually didn't start playing around with makeup till my late 20s. So if I can learn to do it, so can you. I promise you this makeup brand just makes it easy. Okay, so Astute is on, which is a really pretty, just soft matte brown. And then I'm gonna go in with this. Besides myself that does that with the eyeliner. Oh, really? That's funny. I use my highlight on my eyes as you did in your video yesterday. It looked great. Yay! Yes, I do eyeliner first because that way if I have to blend anything out, it blends out the eyeliner too. So it's kind of like two birds, one stone, right? All right, so now I'm going to go with the shade Impish on the same brush and I'm just going to apply this kind of on just the outside corner and I'm going to work kind of like a Pac-Man mouth. Yay, hi Kelly. Um, so you can watch the replays of my makeup tutorials on Facebook by going to Facebook and then you're going to search Rhea Hope, all one word, R-A-Y-A-H-O-P-E and uh, then you can click videos or you can click posts and just scroll down and I have, I go live almost every day on Facebook. So there's so many different makeup looks to choose from to watch the replay on. All right. So I'm just building up the shade Impish in this outside corner. And this is gonna give us this really pretty kind of sunset -y look. All right, and now I'm gonna switch up my brush and I'm gonna grab this angled one. And I'm gonna grab that shade Impish, but also I'm gonna mix it with the shade Marvelous, which is just a little bit darker of a shade. And I'm gonna drag this underneath the lower lash line and this is just gonna give us more of a cohesive finish look. You can also do this step instead of eyeliner if eyeliner like irritates your eyes because just see the difference, just gives you more of a dramatic effect with your liner. All right, and then same thing on this side, just underneath the lower lash. I'm just gonna try to stick really close to the lower lash line, just like that. Okay. All right, so now that we have the base on, like essentially almost the whole eye look, now I'm gonna go in with this guy. This is called the Liquid Eyeshadow. It's in the shade Reverent. Now, if you have hooded eyes, you wear glasses, you have smaller eyes, or you just want something very pretty but not overpowering on your eyes, you are going to be obsessed with this color. So again, it's the shade Reverent. In the Liquid Eyeshadow, it's available on my website underneath eyes at rayahopebeauty.com and this you guys is one of the most stunning eyeshadows you will ever find it is so pretty it's so gorgeous on it's very flattering on all eye shades and now i'm going to take the cream shadow brush and i'm just like tapping this on just like this and blend that out very softly into the crease and look at that isn't that so gorgeous so pretty. Now, the really cool thing about the liquid eyeshadows is they do not crease, they do not smudge, they do not smear, they do not fade. They're incredible, especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles on your eyes because it's not going to accentuate your fine lines and wrinkles like a powder would because it's a liquid base. So, highly recommend. So pretty. And again, it's the shade Reverent, and it's available on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And then I'm just taking the cream shadow brush, which is kind of similar to like a concealer brush, and just kind of tap, tap, tapping that on, just to make sure it looks really soft and blended. Just like that. Voila, we're done. Not pretty? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup with the setting spray. All right, so that's going to be a very important step because it's going to add moisture into your foundation, which helps it to expand and look so much more natural on your skin. It's also going to help to prevent transferring, and it also is obviously going to set your makeup. So set, set, set. And the reason that I do this before I do my mascara is now my mascara is not going to be more wet after I've applied it. So if you know mascara, it's like a moist consistency. So if you were to apply it and then I'll do your setting spray, you're just making your mascara more wet, which of course would be higher likelihood of it transferring. So do yourself a favor, set it before you do your mascara. Okay, I got my fan on Amazon. It's just like a cheapy little paper fan. I think it was like $2. The eyeshadow color was the shade Reverent in the liquid eyeshadow. 
And then the pressed eyeshadows that I used were Astute and Impish, which you can actually buy the eyeshadows by themselves for only 12 bucks, or you can build yourself a palette. But either way, all you have to do is go to rayahopebeauty.com, and that's where you can find all of the makeup I'm using. Okay, so now I'm using my lash primer first, all over the lash, and then I'm going to go in with the Twisted Mascara, and I'm going to go from the base of the lash all the way up with this. Now this Twisted Mascara, you guys, is, if you buy one thing, this needs to be it. It is the most incredible mascara ever. It has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it, so it's actually making your lashes grow while you're wearing it. It has a really intentional little bristle brush on here, so you get the best separation in length with your lashes. And it has a little mechanism in here that prevents you from over getting your product. Have you ever like stuck your wand in a um, in the tube and then you pull it out and you have like all of this product and you're like wiping it off? This has a mechanism in it that will prevent that from happening. Okay, so you can do totally as many coats as you want. All right, and then twist it up and watch this. The top of it unscrews and you get this teeny tiny little brush which is so perfect for reaching those harder to reach inner eyelashes, the bottom lash line. Or if you have smaller eyelashes, you can actually start with this and then do the bigger wand to get your lashes to have that length so you don't have to be worried about hitting your um, eyeshadow or anywhere with the larger wand. So that's also the option too. It's also really dang water resistant. Okay, so that's Twisted Mascara, and then I'm going to go in with the, this is just a NYX lip liner, and I'm going to line my lips with this. Okay. And then we're going to go in with my favorite lipstick, and this is in the shade Easy Street. This looks so stunning on everybody. It's so good. It's like the perfect everyday lipstick color. And there we have it. There's your really pretty, soft, everyday lipstick look. So that's it. My lashes are really straight. What do you recommend for the best curl? I honestly have a very firm belief that the Esteem Lash Serum really helps them curl, um, which is only $24. Also helps your lip or your lashes, your lips, your lashes to grow. And I really am a firm believer that it does help them curl. I would recommend the Twisted Mascara. I love this mascara. But that was the whole tutorial, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, make sure to shop on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. Feel free to reach out to me here on Instagram or Facebook. If you guys need any help picking out your makeup or your goodies, just let me know. I'm so happy to help. And that was it. So I will see you guys, um, obviously, tomorrow here on, or over on Facebook, not on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Facebook, which, again, you just go to my bio. You can click follow me there. Or you can just search Raya Hope there. So I will see you guys on Instagram stories for the rest of the day. Bye. Let's figure out how to end this. Hold on.